Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So today's video is going to be um, a kind of new skin routine I guess. I have recently bought some new skin products that I've just been wanting to try out. I have recently tried some Glow Recipe um, and given my final thoughts on that after using it for a few weeks. Um, so I've picked up some new products here um, and some others that I will be sort of testing out in this video for you and I'll of course give you an update um, sort of, I don't know, four or five weeks later. So I have filmed a tutorial on this Barbie pink makeup look. It will be up on my channel either before or after this video, whichever one that I do edit and sort of upload first really. If you'd like to see more of me, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram. That's under the same handle as my YouTube, which is Chloe Cage with two E's, but I'll pop that in the description box below for you, as well as the products that I've used on my face today and the skincare products that I've used in this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm going to stay zoomed out for the video just so you can see um, my full face um, as I'm going through each of my skincare steps. I have just um, finished filming for the day. I have rubbed off all of my makeup so I am looking a little bit um, sort of red especially around the eyes where I've had um, one of the With Love Cosmetics press glitters on that I've just sort of uh, taken the glitter away. So I'm just a little bit red from taking my makeup off. So I do have some new skincare to try. Um, I have recently f stopped using and I filmed uh, my experience using the um, Glow Recipe Fruit Babies collection. Um, and now I just have a little gap within my skincare routine um, that I've just slotted in with some new products that I've picked up from TK Maxx. I have got a shopping haul um, on my channel, it's either going to be up before or after this video, um, where I talk about everything that I picked up, including um, all this new skincare. So, um, I have already used the Clinique Take the Day Off um, balm and some micellar water to take my makeup off. So I just need to um, do a second cleanse just to, you know, cleanse my skin, take off any sort of excess dirt, makeup, things like that. And I'm going to be using my new cleanser here from Kate Somerville. This is the um, Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. So this bad boy retails for £38. Um, if you can get it in TK Maxx, they put the price down to £19.99, but this had a little reduced sticker on the front of it and I got it for £12, so bargain. I have heard of this brand um, before Kate Somerville, so I'm really, really excited to see what this does for my skin. Um, so this is a blemish treatment. Um, so. I'll just read the back of it for you. This foaming cleanser is formulated with 3% sulphur to help clear and prevent blemishes and draw out impurities to unclog congested pores. With continued use, this gentle yet effective daily cleanser leaves skin visibly clearer and minimises the appearance of pores without over drying. So it says to use this twice a day, um, but I do have another cleanser that I have actually picked up in a set, um, which is this one here from Tatcha. This one is the Rice Wash, um, so it's a soft cream cleanser and it's got like little, um, it feels like, I don't want to say like gritty because that sounds really harsh, but it's it's not completely smooth, it's got like little bits in it um, that you kind of... Um, just cleanse your face with. So I tend to use this one in the morning and then this one um, in the evening and as it's the end of the day and I've taken off um, my makeup and I'm just gonna sort of chill, eat some pasta, watch The Lincoln Lawyer on Netflix, um, I thought I'd use this one. Um, so I'm just going to dip my hands in some water and just kind of um, wet the face a little bit. And then I'm going to pop a small amount, just about that much, and just kind of work this into my skin. So I do have some blemishes down here. Um, I did get a bit of a breakout from using the Glow Recipe Fruit Babies collection that's taking me a little while to get rid of them. I have used this cleanser um, for almost a week now, and I can see that it is sort of getting rid of um, 
these spots down the bottom. I have had two new ones um, that might just be from obviously using new products on my skin. Your skin is going to purge a little bit so I completely understand that and I do accept that whenever I do use new skincare um, but I just kind of want to see what this does for my blemishes really. So um, I've just added a little bit more just for uh, around my face so it can frame up a little bit more and really work it in. Um, I tend to work this in for a little bit longer than I typically would have uh, done before since watching um, esthetician JD Wady. Um, you find her on like Instagram and um, YouTube. I think her, she's under the handle JD Wady 180 or she might have dropped the 180 now. Um, and you can find her under JD Wady. Um, but she likes to really work the cleanser into the skin so that's what I tend to do now. So it foams up really really nicely. Um, there is a bit of a like smell to it which is off which I think it must be from like the sulfur element in there. Um, it does smell like a, a blemish treatment really like those typical smells that you would get from any kind of like treatment product. And I have like a slight tingle to my skin. It's not uncomfortable. Um, I guess it's just sort of the um, ingredients like working. Really gonna whack that into my nose as I do have. Um, I feel like I've got quite clogged pores around my nose. And really into the chin where I've been getting some blemishes lately and then I'm just going to splash my face um, with lots of water. Okay so I've just pat my skin dry and it still feels really soft, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it doesn't feel tight, it just has that like nice clean uh, feeling to it, like I do feel like my skin has really been sort of you know um, cleaned out. So next I have this um, blemish mask from Murad. This is also something that I picked up uh, from TK Maxx. I don't know how much this is by itself. Um, I mean Murad skincare can be quite expensive but this also had a red sticker on for £12 so I'm not sure how much um, TK Maxx would have had the price at um, as I put the sticker like right over the top. So I've just tried my best to sort of peel off the um, reduced red sticker and it says here that it's usually £40. Um, they were selling it in TK Maxx for £19.99 and then it had the red reduced sticker on the front um, at £12. So absolute bargain. So this, um, I will just read the back. Um, so this also contains sulphur. Um, a soothing sulfur mask helps treat and prevent blemishes. Uh, microfine kaolin and bentonite clays absorb excess oils and draw out pore clogging debris to balance and mattify. Licorice extract helps soothe and calm the skin. Um, to apply an even layer onto clean skin, leave on for 10 minutes, rinse and pat dry and use one to three times weekly. So um, I have been trying to use this at least twice a week. So this will be the second time that I would have used it this week. Um, Jake has also used this as well. So he will be jealous that I am um, using this today without him as he's going out for um, dinner with a couple of his friends. So he won't be using it today. would say it's quite a thick um, clay, like it's quite hard for me to sort of squeeze a lot of product out um, and I'm just sort of smoothing an even layer around my face and I'm really um, trying to avoid the um, eye area as much as I can because I do have quite sensitive eyes.
Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit for 10 minutes now. Okay guys, so this has been on my skin for 10 minutes, so I'm just going to take um, Primax version of a face halo, pop that in some water and just um, gently wipe away. Okay, so now that's all uh, taken off my face and nice and clean again, I am going to use my Kiehl's um, toner. This is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner, alcohol-free, made with whole flowers and pure extracts for a normal to oily skin type. So this effective toner is formulated with select uh, herbal extracts to gently cleanse and soothe normal to oily skin types without the use of alcohol or harsh synthetic drying agents. Our calendula herbal extract toner may be used to soothe and improve problem areas. So funny enough I did actually get this um, for Christmas and I'm only really starting to use it now. I mean I have used about this much of the product sort of on and off where um, it's been an ideal size for me to travel with it. Um, but I just kind of, I mean, I was using the Jeffree Star toner for ages, um, but I still had quite a lot of that one left. And then I went straight on to trying the, um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner. So my skin does feel, you know, um, it feels like it's had a mask on, really. That's all I can describe it. You know, it, it does feel clean. It feels a little bit sort of tight after having... I mean, you know, I did have a clay mask on my skin for about 10 minutes, so of course it does feel a little bit tight. But, um, I could see, um, some sort of dots around my face where it was drawing out, um, any oils. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to see what that does for my skin with regular use. And this feels really nice on the skin as well. It's nice and soothing, actually. Um, it doesn't burn. It doesn't um, sting. Uh, my, my skin feels quite nice with it. I do still have a little bit left of my Cool Delay Viner Perfect Essence. I have run out of my Cosric Snail Mucin. So I am using this one morning and night. So I'm just sort of uh, popping it into my hands and pressing it into my face and neck. So I have um, finished my Kiehl's Cream Avocado, Avocado Eye Treatment, so I am using um, one of my sort of skincare backups and I have quite a bit of Estee Lauder from where I receive um, the kits and the Blockbuster from Jake's mum. Um, it's usually a Christmas present so I do look forward to getting my Estee Lauder each year. <laughs> Um, but I'm just popping this underneath the eyes and um, I don't know if I said but that's the Revitalizing Supreme so it is targeted to um, an older skincare but they do always seem to put the Revitalizing Supreme um, eye cream and face cream in with the Blockbuster. Um, I guess that the Blockbuster is sort of tailored to um, older ladies. but I'm just starting that anti-aging early. I am 30 next year. So next I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I have just gone through um, a big version of this. So I'm gonna use one of these little um, smaller sizes that come in the skincare kits. And then I do have um, another um, full size in the Blockbuster that I recently got for Christmas. So I have been very, very lucky that I haven't had to buy um, night repair for, I think I've only bought it once, you know, because um, my mum had bought it for me one year. And then I've just been getting um, the skincare sets and the Blockbuster from Jake's mum, which of course has the night repair in it. So I haven't had to actually buy one myself for about, oh, I want to say four four and a bit years, um, which is amazing. I'm so lucky because Night Repair is not cheap. Next I'm going to take my Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Um, this I got in a set from 
Space NK, they gave me a, a £10 um, gift card because I'd bought a lip balm with them um, just to sort of, I guess, bring me back to their website to use within a month and I clicked on and saw that they um, sold Toucher so I thought I'd give it a go with a mini set as I didn't want to buy a big one just in case I didn't like the cream as it's very expensive so um, I'm just popping so I'm just popping this on all over, smoothing it onto the skin. So it is definitely like a dewy finish. Um, your skin looks so soft. Um, it looks really hydrated. It gives a really, really nice sort of, um, well, dewy glow to the skin really. So I do really like this so far. Um, I have been using it day and night and it seems to um, smooth onto my face um, and my foundation um, over the top of it sits really nicely. But of course I will um, be updating you on this to see if I still like it. Um, it's always nice to see a first impressions and then that's why I quite like to watch sort of empties videos and things um, and updates um, because you might really like it as a first impression but then getting through the product it might not work with other products it might not work um, further down the line so yeah I will um, keep you guys updated on this new skincare routine so I have got my lash serum here this is the glow for it one I got this off Beauty Bay um, and I'm just going to pop this on top of my lashes. I do feel like um, my lashes come up very very easily. Um, they are quite thin, they're quite sparse um, and it's ever since I had uh, lash extensions and they were just, they just, my natural lashes came out with them when they were taking off. Um, which has just kind of really scared me to ever go back and get them done again. Um, so I just want to use this product to really strengthen the lashes because I do use false lashes for YouTube videos. I've been using the Tati um, Lashes and Visa Lashes to put underneath um, for when I maybe don't want to wear a false lash um, and I just want to, I don't know, I just feel like a pair of lashes just really sort of makes a difference to your makeup look and with the Tati Lashes you can have them on for like a week um, so I've been doing that and I mean of course you do get um, natural sort of fallout with lashes as they you know grow back and like your normal hair and things but I just want them to grow stronger grow longer um, and yeah I'm gonna try that out so this will of course be updated um, with this new skincare routine as well so hopefully I will have much thicker um, stronger lashes um, in the next few weeks. So usually um, twice a week I do put on a retinol. I have already used retinol twice this week so I will not be using it um, tonight but that is usually my next step um, and then it just kind of it depends on how my skin is feeling as to whether I go in with my Clinique Moisture Surge um, sort of like a it's a mask but it's not like a mask that you sort of wash off you pop this on and you can um apply a nice layer and wear it as like an overnight mask um but i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to go straight in with my um keels midnight recovery concentrate i've gone through about two or three of these now um i really really like this i just sort of pat this into um my skin And I love that it smells like lavender as well. It's not overpowering, but it's that lovely sort of aroma. Um, so you can smell it on your skin um, and it just kind of, I don't know, it like calms and relaxes me, I guess. Um, but I do really, really like the smell of this. So I'm going to pop my Clinique Moisture Surge lip balm on. I do really, really like this lip balm. It is so nice. And then I do have some little spotties around my um, 
chin area so I'm going to go in with my blemish treatment this one is from the inky list and it's the oh, I'm probably going to like completely butcher this name succinic acid um, and it's got salicylic acid in it as well so I do like this spot treatment the only thing that gets me with it is that it comes out green um, and it can take a little while for it to dry so if you haven't like fully let it dry and you're popping it on just before you go to bed um, if you don't sleep like on your back you will sort of uh, it will rub off onto the pillow so I do try and remember to pop this on a little while before I actually get into bed because um, I have noticed that I will have um, green on my pillow from it Hey guys, so that was the end of the video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!